What's up everybody, it's Jeremy here from Oceanbound and I'm stoked because I was able to recently demo some air rush wings as they came through our area. So this is not a full review, this is a first impressions video from a demo day. So I've heard some great things about these wings. I've been really intrigued by the material that they're using on the leading edge of their nitro called a hukipa or something that sounds very close to that, I hope. So I was stoked when Will from Air Rush is rolling through our area for demos and I was able to kind of take advantage of that. But hold on, these are our Air Rush wings, right? Or is Free Wing its own brand? I kind of think the first time I saw these wings, I thought that Free Wing was the model. So they have a handful of websites and their products are all kind of connected to each other. I asked Will and he explained that the name brand is called Sea Star. It's a combination of Severn, the windsurfing company, Starboard, and Air Rush. And now Free Wing. So they're all kind of connected, which is good because I'm probably going to say Air Rush instead of Free Wing a lot. And by the way, this is a cool brand. They are full of stoke, passionate about the ocean. They give back to the earth and to other communities and they make stuff in a really sustainable way. That makes a difference to me. So check them out. Okay, so where were we? The AK day at Chapin Beach. It was a beautiful day, low tide, which meant a long walk to the water. The wind was maybe high teens, low 20s. You know, the waves were wind chop, but they had some vert, so there were bumps to shred. So what do we have available for demo today? My friend Haley and I were planning on going and swapping out the two six meters that Will had, the Air V3 and the Nitro V3. The Air is their all around performance and freestyle wing. And the Nitro is a little more geared towards like high end wave riding. Its qualities are listed as responsive, light and durable, which reminds me a lot of the strikes that I ride. Interestingly, the Nitro got dinged with a trademark violation, so it's currently calling its wings the N-Team, and we'll call them the Air Team in future versions. First up, for me, it's the Nitro V3 6 meter. The material's on the leading edge. Like I said, it's called Hukipa. It's lighter. It's a lot stronger. It says the leading edge can take 50% more pressure, and I like that. So that means they can have a thinner leading edge. It feels different. A different tactile feel versus like the coated F1 V3 strikes. Softer than I thought it would be. More like a fabric not a coated laminate. You know, it's very different from my stiff V3 strike leading edge. I'm excited to see how this material holds up on a leading edge in the long run. And it certainly is light. The rest of the canopy is some sort of normal rip stop. So the wing felt super comfortable, but it had performance at the same time. It kind of reminds me of a V2 strike. You know, the power delivery was progressive. Returning to power from a jive or attack is just nice and smooth. It feels light. I was actively like throwing it around on jives and waves and it went where I wanted it to go. You know, it drifted really well. The canopy is slightly loose on the trailing edge, but that adds to the kind of comfortableness and definitely helps stabilize the wing when it's drifting. And it had a pretty good amount of power. The handles are like a thick, stiff ribbon, I guess, you know? They totally feel good in my hands, and I like the way my fingers could kind of shift between various like loose grips and give a good amount of feedback to the wing. So, you know, Will showed us a pumping technique that worked pretty well. It kind of involved scooping the wind with the back of the wing. And that did seem to work for it, although it was really windy that day and we were on six meters. The special technique wasn't really a thing that we needed to use to get up on foil. The jumping was really nice. Super easy, totally cush. In fact, I had a lot of fun out there in the Nitro or the NT. I was inspired, you know, doing these jumps and landing on the wave faces and trying to switch to one hand in the same motion and ride the wave away. So it set like a really good mood for my whole session, it inspired me to have fun and be playful. I'm gonna say it's a hookipa that got me frothing. Hookipa? 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 
So after 30 minutes or so, next up was the V3 Air 6 meter, and this did not have hookah butt, but it didn't feel heavy at all, although it does weigh about a half a kilo more. Its canopy is noticeably flatter, and it had nice power. The, you know, it was a little hotter when engaging the wing while coming around in, let's say, like an upwind tag. Will mentioned that the pump technique for this wing is kind of your standard pump, but we were pretty powered, so it really wasn't a, a thing that we could play with. So this wing felt faster and, and more powerful than the Nitro. It reminds me actually of a lot of the V3 strikes. I didn't feel overpowered on the 6 meter, even though it was blowing pretty good. When the gusts come, I felt like um, you know it tends to want to pitch down a little bit in the front, easily corrected by pushing your backhand out and away from you. It jumps great, more hang time than the Nitro. Oh, that, that must be why they call it the Air. It drifts fine. I like to park it a little higher, maybe like um, almost slightly above my head. It's got a good amount of lift to it, which is really great for surfing in some conditions, doing jibes and stuff. The windows on this one were fine. I don't tend to use windows, but I tried to look through them and they were cool. They also have a non-window version that are slightly lighter too. I tried the 6 meter and then I also tried a 4.5. And the 6 meter had soft handles, which I really liked, but the 4.5 had carbon handles installed. And these were a little bigger in their diameter and no cushion or grip at all, straight carbon. But I liked them, they felt good. My friend Haley loved them. He complains that the grip on his unit like handles kind of eats up his hands and these have none of that. You know, the smaller size and the hard handles were a decent combo. I can imagine with gloves, the grip is maybe a little big when it's cold, almost more like a slick boom. Totally doable, but different. And for whatever it's worth, the hard handles felt a lot higher off the strut than the softer handles. The handles are easy to replace, you just need a screwdriver, and um, I think the hard handles you purchase separately. I did hear them mention on the internet they're gonna look into doing booms and whatnot, so it'll be a totally modular system that will give you a bunch of options. I think that's totally interesting. The 4.5 meter I rode was, I was a little underpowered, but it was a nice size and, and the canopy was tight and I was able to pump up on a foil, you know, kind of relatively easily. The one thing about these wings that was weird to me was the distance between the handle on the leading edge and the first one on the strut is just, it's a little awkward. It's longer than I'm used to. And I get where they put the handles and why. You know, the wing rides pretty nicely balanced, but I missed a bunch of transitions, you know, between my hands I literally never missed. So I was getting more used to it as the day went on, but it was noticeably different than what I'm used to. And also when you brought it kind of close to you, I felt like it backwinded just a little bit. I want to say that was on both of the wings, but it was definitely on the air. Between the two, the Nitro drifted better, more forgiving and smooth, and the air was a little hotter and jumped better. I like the both, and I could totally see myself riding both, but if I had to pick, I think I preferred the air for what I'm doing now. I dug the power in the tighter canopy. That, that's just where I'm at right now. But I really liked the performance and the lightness of the Nitro. And now I really want to try their Pro Wing. I can't afford it, but I look at what they put into that and that's what I would probably get. The 6 or the 6.7 meter. I want to go fast. I want to win races this summer. Damn, I want to go fast. It's hard dropping money on something that you haven't tried. You know what I mean? Of course, you know what I mean. I mean, you're watching this video. All right, so that's it, everyone. A quick, you know, first impressions video of these Air Rush or, or free wing wings, and um, and I really enjoyed them, and I, I could see myself riding them in the future. You know, if you want to see some more of my videos, please consider clicking that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Definitely drop a comment, say hi. I love interacting with all of you guys. Let me know if you've ridden these wings before and what you think. I'm especially curious if you've ridden or ride the Pro Wing, and with that, I hope. All of you guys are doing well out there. I'll see you soon on the flip and I wish you all an awesome day. Later! Ooh,